Good afternoon, folks. Serge is here. And today I'm going to answer the same question that you've been asking for a while on the comments of our YouTube channel, which was how to get a job in tech with no experience, mostly after the bootcamp. While there are hundreds of different bootcamps in the United States and probably thousands in the world, there are thousands of people who are getting graduated on a monthly basis. But if you look right here at indeed.com and you look for the junior QA engineer positions in the United States, you'll see that we have almost 500 of them opened up right now. Almost 500. That's not a lot for thousands of people, right? I would say tens of thousands. And if we will remove the word junior and look for the QA engineer positions in the United States right now, you'll see that we have almost 12 thousand which is 24 pretty much 24 times more now let me be very direct straightforward and short on this video and i'll explain to you three ways how you can get into tech with no experience after the bootcamp all right first way is the simplest one to guess which is applying for a job directly without experience after the bootcamp so whichever bootcamp you choose you go through it and then you apply for a job and say hey i don't have experience but i went through the bootcamp and i would like to become a qa engineer i can work for free i can work for the minimum salary as the junior qa please take me that's possible we had a couple of students who were able to get that job but usually these jobs average from free to up to 80,000 per year, which is not the highest payment I can tell you directly and you can see on many on many videos of ours. For example, this guy right here, uh, he is making 160,000 right now. He got his first job offer as 125,000. Anyways, that's about the first one. The second option is I do not recommend you guys because uh, faking your resume is not the best way. I've heard about a few people who fake their resumes, who put the random companies on their resume, then applied for a job. They were able to get the job, but still, I highly do not recommend doing that. Lying never made anyone very successful, unless a few people. The third option is to get experience after you finish the bootcamp through your connections or directly through the bootcamp that provides experience. If you do have connections, that's amazing. Simply talk to your friends or relatives, ask them to add you to the company, uh, ask them to help you to get onboarded, and then so you would be gaining experience for free or maybe for the minimum wage. That's awesome. You gain experience and then you look for a job for hundreds of thousands as most of our students get. Uh, but if you do not have relatives, you need to find a right bootcamp that will offer you experience. But please be careful here because I had quite a few students who were joining our automation classes uh, after they took the manual course in other bootcamps. Actually, right now we have a couple of those who were saying that they were promised to get US-based startup experience, but they were not even able to explain to me what was the release process in that US-based startup. So please be careful here. And that's exactly why I've decided to share a couple of options with you that will fit most of your budgets of how to get experience in a US-based startup, ranging from $50 per month up to $1,000 per month. Recently, we've built the most affordable membership on the market that allows you to get experience in an actual US-based startup for only $50 per month if you have QA basics, which means if you went through a bootcamp or you learned QA on your own or you took a course on Udemy, it doesn't matter. For $50 per month, you can join a US-based startup. You can test and overview all of the processes of it for only $50 per month. You can find more info right below this video. Uh, also, we have option for those who do not have any experience or did not go through a bootcamp yet. That one is only $150 per month. So for $100, you get videos from ours that you can watch on your own. You understand how the QA works. And then you would help a US-based startup to test the releases on a weekly basis so you would fully understand how it works in the US-based startups. The second option is more expensive, but it is a full-scale bootcamp with myself, other mentors, live weekly webinars, coding sessions, resume, LinkedIn, interview preparation, and full support until you actually get the job. This option is a little bit more expensive, but it starts from the $1,500 for the manual course, 
for the QA automation course only, if you have QA manual already, there'll be 3,500. But if you combine both of these and you want to become a QA automation engineer from scratch with no experience, that one will add up to 4,900. $40. These are the only ways to get a job in tech with no experience. If you have any doubts in yourself, feel free to check out a bunch of videos we have on YouTube with people who've already made it and what do they say about it. It's not very easy, but it is very doable as you can see. If you have any questions to me, you can call me directly by the phone number, which you can find on our website, comify.com. Now, don't forget to train your brain, train your muscles and hit that big fat thumb up button below if you did enjoy this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our Instagram and the Telegram communities where I share many more videos of very useful things for the QA engineers as that's and the software engineers. All of the links you can find in the description right below this video. Enjoy it and I'll see you next time.